guys, it's Gus, and today we're going to be out ripping the Mojave. Figured first I'd show you what I did to my body mounts. See here, I broke it off. First I put some uh, pool floaty in there, and uh, or noodle, whatever you want to call it, and that uh, worked. But then I snapped her off, so I screwed on a piece of, uh, see under there, it's like, I don't know, it's like 3 8 half inch, something like that. Uh, ABS rod on the bottom, and that's been working pretty good so far. And in the front, I used some HTP underneath on the front. And this one did crack uh, before I put the foam in there, so I got some duct tape wrapped around there. The bumper brackets all busted up, so I got uh, some foam in there and that's all taped up. Cold weather is hard on plastic. But uh, that's pretty much the only thing I've done to it. Besides my rear wheel mod when she stripped out on me. And I'm still running my screw in my upper arm because it ain't broke yet, so I'm just going to leave it that way. No need to waste another arm until it breaks completely, so I just ran a screw through there. It did get a little bit of a gap in it, but it's still working now yet, so it's good enough. Oh, I did put the, the kit comes with the uh, extra shock pistons in there. Stock is like a 14. Uh, number 14 and I put the 12s in there that's the smallest hole they have and that made quite a difference I was going to put thicker oil in it but all the oil I had was the same as what's in here so but it did make it quite a bit better so all right well let's get her out there and see how she works see here the back of the body's getting pretty beat up as well Flies, everything else been holding up pretty good oh you ready to go get it and we're still running the radio link version 2 the RC GS version 2 oh. Oh. still got the Hobby Wing Max 8 2200 KV system in there. I was going to get myself there for a second. Need to get myself some paddles on this thing. Uh oh, found something in the yard out there. Just a touch deep for this thing. He makes her, but just barely.
And I actually have all the extra parts to fix it, but I like the bumper pieces and but that ain't happening until summertime. It doesn't pay to fix those in the wintertime because most of those, it doesn't matter what I have, those bumper pieces and stuff, they just don't hold up in the wintertime in the cold. So we just zip time and call her a day. Oh, she's moving. Gotta stay away from that road. They put salt down out there. She handled a lot better with that thicker, or those other shock pistons in the back. It's not so boingy. And when they come back into stock, I am going to get the uh, other shock springs for it too, because they do got different springs that are heavier weight, and the ones on here, they're just way too soft. And I know they do it for uh, traction and stuff like that, so it settles better, but the thing is so washy. I mean, you, and I've already tuned it, so it's better than what it is stock, but. lipo cut off. It don't last very long in the cold weather and that's uh Yep, she's dead. Alright now we're gonna go grab the big boy.